Supreme Court rules on Nam de Kano's freedom nullifies the judgment made by appeal court uh, ordering the federal government to release Nam de Kano immediately. So this problem, what is federal government reason for not releasing Nam de Kano? The appeal court has ordered that Nam de Kano should be released and be compensated. Now the Supreme Court under Tinubu's government the same thing that Buhari did for eight years has decided to nullify that judgment from the appeal court, okay, and refused to release Nam de Kano. And this is not looking well because only God knows what they're looking for. I'm telling you, this is probably going to cause another big problem somewhere in the southeast and across Nigeria. The Supreme Court of Friday reversed the decision of the Court of Appeal, discharging an acquittal of leader of the proscribed indigenous people of Biafra, Nam de Kano, on the case of treason against him. The fact here is that even the prescription has been reversed by the appeal court. Okay, these are just people that are self-determined looking for secession. They are not criminals and they should they have no reason to prescribe them. So Nigerian News reports that the appeal court held that Although he was illegally brought back to Nigeria from Kenya when he joined bail, that development could not have the, you know, divested the trial court of jurisdiction to continue his trial. So the court, in a unanimous decision by a five-member panel of justices, acknowledged that federal government acted irresponsibly when it forcibly brought Kano back to the country from Kenya against all the known laws. It, however, held that it was not enough to divest the trial court of its jurisdiction to continue with the case. Can you imagine? So according to the Supreme Court, there is no legislation in the country that stripped the trial court of jurisdiction to go ahead with Kano's case despite the illegal action the federal government took against him. So in the judgment that was prepared by Justice Garuba Mohammed, but read by Justice Emmanuel Agim, the appeals court held that the remedy open for Kano was for him to institute a civil action against the government. Can you imagine? So the court, however, stated that the federal government must be conscious of his image, both locally and internationally, even as it knocked the trial court for revoking Kano's bail after he escaped to save his life following the invasion of his home by security agents. Hmm. So what are they saying now? So they are now telling Nam de Kano to raise another court action against the federal government and call it what a civil action. Okay? Because the action that brought him back from Kenya to Nigeria illegally was a civil type, are we? These people are just using technicalities to hold this man back. Okay? This man should be released and let us stop all these technicalities that are bringing to the table. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't add up. So what are they saying now? that until Nam de Kano will be still be in detention until he institutes a civil action against the federal government, have you? and who is going to deal with it, which court, and then they will start a fresh court case from zero that will take through the court of first instance and then go through probably appeal court again and to Supreme Court again, have you? and they will use all of that delay tactics to keep Nam de Kano in t perpetually. That is not a good judgment, I tell you. So even if they have accepted that, uh, you know, federal government acted irresponsibly, why not release this man? Okay? And I say that there's no law in Nigeria that strips the court of, uh, you know, continued trial of Nam de Kano. Oh, wow, for these people, oh, they will only use technicality to cause problems here. And some of the writing here, people are already reacting to the action of the Supreme Court today. So I say my question is, if one is granted bail and an agency of that government or anybody tries to kill him, should he stand still to be killed, run for his dear life, or defend himself? Again, is the law enforcement agent and the military above the law of Nigeria? These questions must be clearly answered and interpreted by the law. We have seen this happen to not only Nam de Kano, but a host of political prisoners, such as Dasuki Emefiele ETC. So a case where a competent court acquits or bails an individual, but agency of the government will be waiting outside the court to rearrest the bail. Why? 
why talking about jumping bail without considering the cost? That is exactly what happened to cause an effect in the Nigerian legal system. They will not. Don't mind them, Jerry. They are they are because Nigeria is a lawless place. That is why it is happening. That is the problem. Sometimes I have chronicled I have chronicled this fellow situation as I see it from the position of law and also disagreed with the position of the appellant court that discharged and acquitted him based upon his illegal deportation from Kenya. But the position of the Supreme Court is not only sound, but in line with the law of the land. While I sympathize with Nam de Kanu over his self-inflicted situation, it is my honest opinion that the elders of the Southeast must put aside divisive opinions and form a united front to seek for political solution to the issue. It is childish for the people of Southeast to clamor for the release of Nam de Kanu without first purging the fellow of violence tendencies violent tendencies and extract his commitment to be to be of good character if granted pardoned by the state. Terms of settlement must clearly be drawn by both parties and parties must strictly adhere to such agreement else the clause of reversal will be activated by the state wherein the defendant returned to his evil ways. My friend, keep quiet. What are you saying here? That is the question. What, why are you trying to create a scenario that is not uh, relevant in this matter that what they should they should tell him to take an undertaking of a good character okay is that what i'm saying so somebody has said she shut up with the right up what did you say of presidential petition judgment okay is this sound also wickedness against the Igbo by neighbors and Igbo themselves did the Igbo whole sunday agree with anybody before release now he is back to business. What is good for the goods is same for Ganda. I don't support any violence, but the same law chronicles uh, say also that law is blind and no respecter of any person. Why should you, law chronicler, have <laughs> different law for different person or tribes in our, in our country? Igbo was handled by another country, not Nigeria anyway. So... <laughs> Somebody say you don't like to hear the truth. They are already fighting themselves. You can visit International Court of Justice, ICJ, eh? which God bless Nigeria in this kind of matter. The Supreme Court, as presently constituted, is designed to act, pronounce, and visit injustice to all interests that relate to Igbo, Igboness. It was a deliberate scheme conceived by Buhari regime and being maintained by Tinubu. It is an option Igbos must consider either to perpetually remain in the enclave of injustice or pursue their freedom, okay, no matter the cost of the of their sick and unborn children. Hmm. Now wow, this ogre don't vex. But that is the truth now. You can't tell the people that you will not let them go and you will not have them uh, have value in the so called one Nigeria. It doesn't make sense. You can only beat a child and, and expect the child not to cry. And the child cry becomes a crime. That is bad. Mm -hmm. So, it's quite an unfortunate situation, I tell you the truth. So, thank you for listening. Let's have your comment. The Supreme Court, at the end of the day, it refused to release the name they cannot. That is just it. And it's a very bad one. I must tell you the truth. <laughs>